tutorial will go over some advanced techniques and tips to get great results with the spherical stabilizer within ReLens. You should watch the ReLens Stabilizing 360 VR footage and ReLens Project Example Tips and Tricks tutorial to learn basic methods first before watching this tutorial. Let's jump right in and take a look at this shot. We can play the original source footage here in the first comp and see that it's pretty shaky. We can move to the second comp and see that we have added relens to lat long. And since it's already a lat long movie, our projection method is lat long to lat long. If we run the stabilizer on this footage just by selecting track, we can get a better result. This is the default tracking and it's not too bad. It took away all the little jitters, but since the camel is also going up and down at a different rate, our stabilizer has a difficult time catching that. That's because there are two types of camera shakiness, a rotational one that Relens takes care of well, and a positional one where the camera is actually going up and down. We have the ability to make this result better with some extra tools and a few tricks that I'm going to show you. If I play back over this area near frame 139, there is a big shift because of this keyframe and stab keyframe at frame 139. Note, you can learn more about this stab keyframe setting in the tutorial called Relens Project Example Tips and Tricks. Basically, if I go to the keyframe before and see that the horizon is relatively straight and the same for the keyframe after, but the keyframe at 139, the horizon is not straight. This can happen when Relens guesses wrong as to where a helpful keyframe should go. We can delete this keyframe at 139 and change stab mode to bypass to see the original footage and step through the frames to see one where we can set a new keyframe. It goes kind of crazy here at the end around frame 314. But if I go back a few frames around 306, we see a straighter horizon frame. So I'll add a keyframe. If we go back to the end again, we see that the frame is still not straight. So I can switch from bypass to keyframe mode to manually edit the latitude, longitude, and orientation settings. By adjusting the longitude and latitude settings, we can see that it won't make the horizon line straight. In this case, it's orientation that fixes the problem. I can make all three options animatable to set a frame. If I go back one keyframe for stab mode now, you'll see that my horizon line is all crazy again. That's because we changed the orientation and set that keyframe in a previous step. We need to set another keyframe here for orientation at the stab keyframe before the orientation keyframe and make it zero. So this is how you make these little micro adjustments because that camera was moving up and down. Let's move down to this next comp so I can show you a little trick to make those little micro adjustments a little easier to make. We can start here at frame 85 and you can see this horizontal mask I made with AE and set here at the horizon line on the first frame. We can use this to help us make adjustments by lining up the horizon line to this line with the latitude, longitude, and orientation settings. I can set the latitude here around minus 3.667. We can also adjust the orientation a little because you can see a little of the horizon above the line and a little below the line. We can make that minus 1.5. We can see another example here at frame 45. We can set another keyframe. You can continue through the timeline making micro adjustments like this until everything looks better. Now you can render out your result and see that it's really smoothed out the shaking in this clip as well as the movement from the camel. The reason that our spherical stabilizer didn't get all that movement out with the default track is because this is an unusual clip that had multiple sources for the shake and it got rid of the short-term shakiness from the clip, but it had some trouble recognizing the shake with the longer-term up-and-down movement from the camel. So this tutorial, along with the others that I mentioned at the beginning, should help you to get the best results from the spherical stabilizer within Relens to Lat Long, from Lat Long, and Superfish.